Okay, to create the mail merge, first we go to the insert tab, and on the insert tab we select catalog pages. This creates the catalogs merge area where we're going to create our first card. But before we do that, we must connect or link this file with the database file of movies. And here we click on add list. We use an existing list. which if we just downloaded might very well be in our download folder and I can find mine here movies with genres okay this is the sheets available and we're going to just select the first sheet and when this product list comes up we can see that we've got the correct film ready to be inserted so just press OK now we have linked the database with the publisher file. So the next thing we want to do is create one of the cards. Again we go to the insert tab and we select a shape. And this rounded rectangle is the shape for our card. And we draw it so it's clearly inside the catalogue merge area. And as we can see the cards have repeated. It's up to you how many cards you want to repeat but the size of this box, if I resize it you'll see that it creates either six or four or two cards on the one page there's the four okay we also need to just center this in case you wanted to print the reverse side of the cards okay now we need to create the link for the individual text fields from the database. So we go to catalog tools and format text field and here we'll see the title of the film. So we click on this and as you can see it appears quite nicely inside the card and then repeats on all the other cards on the page. Let me just zoom in a bit now. So the next stage would be to make this title centered. So we go to home and center it. And one other tip here would be to just right click this area and choose best fit for the text because different movies will have uh, larger titles. So if you choose best fit they will all fit in quite nicely. And click away and you'll see the effect. So you can see Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3, Independence Day. Okay, so the title's done. Now we want to put down the details of each film. So I'm going to insert a little table to organise it. Click on Table, and there's going to be three fields in it. And there's the table created. And you can see how this is going to work very quickly. Again, I drop it into this space, and I start putting the information from the database. I go again to catalog tools, format, text field, and the first thing about the film is the year it was released. So it drops in there, click on the row below, drop in the next piece of information which is the gross earnings, and then the next piece of information which is the genre of the film. So these cells here will contain that information, but we need a label to go on the left hand side of them. And the label quite simply is year. And here gross earnings and here genre again click away and you'll see the effects on the cards and the cards are pretty quickly being made one little problem here of course is that the gross earnings is in dollars well if we just go in front of the little bit of code for the field we can now insert the dollar sign which is shift 4 on your keyboard Click away again, and a couple of last formatting issues is we want to resize this table so it fits nicely across the card. Click away, have a look at it. That's looking nicely organized. Perhaps bring it down a bit. And we're going to make this title a bit bigger. There. 
And the very last thing we have to do is create a frame for the pictures we're going to insert. So we're going to go to insert, and we go to picture, oops, go to insert, picture placeholder, and I'll just drop that into the space and not put the picture in at this stage because if I do the picture will repeat the same picture however I want to put the pictures in after I've merged which is what we're going to do now and quite simple catalog tools format and under catalog tools we'll see merge to new click here and it takes a few seconds it's created a new file for us and in that new file you'll see if we go to page two of it there is the first four cards second four cards and we've created 84 pages so please do not print at this stage make sure we first of all go along and add some pictures some pictures for Jurassic Park I'll add just any picture here to show you that the picture is included. And then I would go to print. And when I go to print, I'd make sure I only print the current page. And that is the job complete.